My name is Cody Hosterman, and I'm a product manager here at Pure Storage, focusing on our VMware and cloud offerings. I'm continuing this series on VMware Site Recovery Manager and our offerings around replication topologies and what disaster recovery plans you can achieve by combining the flash array with SRM. The last technology I want to talk about is something called ActiveDR. ActiveDR is a near zero RPO replication solution. What this means is the replication interval is in the seconds. When data is written to one array, one flash array in data center A or wherever that happens to be, it is then replicated to another flash array within seconds. And so if this site goes down, only a couple seconds of data will be lost for a near zero RPO. Now, ActiveDR is a really cool technology for a variety of reasons. It is not just about protecting your data. It's about protecting your entire environment, the configurations that go along with it. So what does that mean? Well, ActiveDR operates on something called a pod. In this pod, you can have multiple volumes. These volumes can have snapshots, they can have snapshot policies with many, many intervals over a set retention policy. They can have tags. They can have QoS configurations and many other options. Traditionally, asynchronous replication would fail over the data from one array to another. And so in your DR event, at least your data is there, but everything that's built around it, your point in times, your dev test workflows, are all gone because all you have is that potentially that point in time and any configuration and metadata might be lost. The key thing around ActiveDR is it protects your data and everything else. When you tag this volume, that tag appears on that volume over there. When you configure a QoS limit, that QoS configuration is also replicated. When you assign it to a snapshot policy, that policy and all the point in times that are created and retented for however long, appear on that other side. And this is a really key piece, is that when you do a failover, your environment is exactly the way it was on the original side. So it's not just about the data, but everything that comes along with it, which I won't say is more important than data, but it's also pretty important. And ActiveDR makes this simple. So when SRM interacts with ActiveDR, it takes that one source pod on this site that is linked to what's called a replica pod. It will then, for a test, what we call promote this pod, taking the latest point in time and making it available to this site to be tested and make sure your recovery plan works. In a failover, it will demote this pod, bringing all the volumes down from, from that host environment, and then promote this pod, making it available from a DR event. And this is a very simple procedure, and ActiveDR was built with Site Recovery Manager in mind. Thanks for watching this series on Site Recovery Manager. I hope you can check out our asynchronous periodic replication, our active active replication, the combination of those two, and also ActiveDR, and see how that might fit in your disaster recovery plans. Thank you.